Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tack haul. Um, it was my 21st birthday recently. So I got some money so I decided to buy myself some riding gear. I got loads of lovely other presents but they're not horse related so I'm not going to add them in. So I'm only going to add what I got like equestrian wise because like, it'd, be, it'd be a 40 minute video otherwise. So I hope you enjoy. The first thing is, and I can't forget about Lexi, is I got um, a love mango and carrot treats. And she absolutely loves these. I usually buy a cheaper bag of cheap. Sorry, I usually buy a cheaper bag of treats, but they were out of stock, so I had to buy the more expensive one. She absolutely loves these. I've tried these before. I got two bags of these. So the first thing I got for myself is three new coats and I got all the stuff from the Equine Warehouse. One thing is from Homestead Salary and I'll get into that. But um, I apologise in advance that I need new coats badly because um, my old horse riding coats, the zips broke on them and I didn't bother to replace them. So I had to get another one. So. The first thing I got is Aria black and grey coat to go with my black droppers. It I already used this. I used this yesterday. Um, is it Aria? And I bought it in. I bought this one in extra large and it was a bit big. But the sizing, I know the sizing is a bit small on a horse product. So um, I bought this. But I don't like things fat onto me, so I like to go bigger. And because I'm too big and too small, because I don't like um The next thing I got is an Ariat. Um, sorry, I don't like things fit onto me. I like them loose, so I like I get stuff bigger than what I need. This is a large Ariat um navy coat. This is to go with my navy droppers. Here's the Ariat logo. This is actually a lovely warm coat. Um, I was a bit disappointed with the black and grey one because it's actually really a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be heavier, the black and grey one. But this one is really heavy. This will keep you lovely and warm in the winter. And now, because it's still very cold out now. So, um, yeah, this is my knife coat. On to the next one. This is the Lemieux. So sorry, the next thing I have is the Lemieux burgundy soft shell jacket. If you don't know what a soft shell jacket is, it's basically just a very, very light coat. It's like a rainy summer type of coat. I'd wear these and you can wear these in summer and not get too hot in them because where I live it's very rainy. So it's actually really handy like um it's by Lemieux and it's burgundy and um I like it. It's definitely a spring summer jacket. It's definitely not a winter coat anyway. But I can wear it in the summer and not get too hot. Especially because where I live rains a lot. So you don't have to get soaking. But you don't feel too warm so it's a really nice coat. It's also good for like in between the seasons where you're... It's too cold to ride in a t-shirt. But it's too warm to... um. It's too warm to ride in a proper coat. So this, this is really handy like in the spring. The next thing I bought myself was... um. The olive droppers. Um, it's uh, it's it's by Bridal Way and they're sit tight. I think they're called. They're in the color olive, and I absolutely love these. And they have the sticky bum, as you can see. There's a sticky bum, and they're sticky going all the inside, and they have these, and I absolutely love these. But um, the thing is, don't we? downside to this is I won't be able to wear them to the summer because the mud is really bad where I am so I'll end up destroying these which I don't want to do I don't want to end up destroying them because they're absolutely gorgeous I love the colour of these so that's the only downside with this colour is that I can't wear them now I'll have to wait till the summer or spring whenever the mud dries up basically when the mud isn't too bad, I can wear these, but that probably won't be late till late spring. So the next thing I got is navy joppers. Because my other navy ones are getting quite old. Because with my my old 
leave droppers or constantly wash constantly getting washed so they're faded a bit so I decided to get a new pair of navy droppers that I'm probably not gonna use till the mud dies down either because um because it's constant wash and fades them so um I got a new pair of navy droppers for these two are just for these two type these two droppers are just for everyday riding they're not for uh, competitions or anything they're just for everyday riding so I absolutely love these this is, sorry, this is the Peacock Green uh, base layer by Lemieux. It's from Lemieux Peacock Green. It looks completely different in real life. It looks blue on camera, but it's actually really, really green in real life. I have the saddle pad to match this. This is my first ever base layer. because I usually just wear running tops, riding, or just normal t-shirts. I didn't actually have any equestrian base layers. And I'm so excited to have one and I absolutely, I wore this yesterday. I was actually she to go into the washes, took it out of the wash basket, but um, I absolutely love these. I'd definitely be buying more of them. They're so breathable. I love them. Thanks for watching my haul everybody.